Hello everyone, welcome back to Auto Trend TV. I am your Viprajesh again from Ramani Nissan Coimbatore today, and I am here with the new BS6 compliant facelifted Datsun Redigo top spec T option variant. Now you may have already seen my reviews of the lower variants of the Datsun Redigo facelift. Now this here is the top spec variant. On the exterior, as you can see that this car gets a lot of features over its lower variants. At the front, you get to see large L-shaped DRLs along with LED fog lamps. Apart from this new LED lighting package, there is nothing new at the front and you get the very same headlamps along with the large octagonal front grille. Moving on towards the sides, you get to see the very same 14-inch steel wheels. However, on this top spec variant, you get a dual tone, very stylish looking wheel covers. These dual tone wheel covers really complement the overall design and stance of the Datsun Redigo facelift. Here's a quick look at the side profile of the Datsun Redigo top spec T option variant. And on this top spec variant, you of course get body colored ORVMs and door handles. Moving towards the rear, while the overall design may seem like the lower variants, you get LED elements integrated inside the tail lamps exclusively on this top spec T option variant. And this top spec variant also receives a reverse parking camera mounted below the Datsun logo. So that was all about the exterior differences and features of the top spec T option variant. Let's now get inside. Yes folks, I'm right now inside the new Datsun Redigo BS6 top spec T option variant and this is how the interior looks like. First of all, you can see the major difference which is the addition of a new 8 inch massive touchscreen system which also includes reverse parking camera, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. I'll show you the details of this infotainment system once I turn on the ignition. So first of all, just have a quick look. Uh, at the features of course the dashboard gets the very same silver kind of finish which was present on the t variant so this is kind of the same and coming lower down you get to see these power window controls which are exclusive only for this top spec t option variant apart from this everything else remains exactly the same you get the very same manual aircon controls you get the very same nicely uh, contoured steering wheel and of course another addition is the availability of a dual airbags on this top spec T option variant alone. You get a passenger airbag on the left side, so that is also a very essential addition on the top spec variant. So, this here is the very same instrument cluster which gets a blue backlit MID. So, let me just turn on the ignition right now. And once you turn on the ignition, this is how the dashboard looks like. Let me just turn on the touchscreen system. So, that's how the touchscreen system turns on. You get a Datsun logo at the start and this is how the menu looks like this is an adaptation of the Renault quids touchscreen system so you get the very same kind of layout and the good thing is that it is kind of uh, slick and very nice to operate as well let me just uh, try getting into FM let me just uh, try navigating through it of course as you can see the lag is very very bare minimum so it is a good system even though being such a budget car so that is actually very nice however you still get only two speakers which are just about decent in audio quality it's good and uh, talking about the reverse parking camera let me just try slotting it into reverse 
and this is how the reverse parking camera looks like the quality is just about decent uh, it is okay but the good thing is that you get a large display uh, so that is actually pretty much helpful and you also get a setting for this so that you can increase the brightness the contrast and such things so that is really helpful as you can see it kind of changes the uh, clarity of the system itself so that is very very nice so that was all about that now let me just uh, take you through other details of this interior on this top spec variant alone you get this contrast lighter colored gray colored uh, fabric padding on the doors which really uh, improve the ambience of this cabin as you may already remember the t variant gets a uh, black fabric padding but on this top spec variant you get this gray padding which kind of lifts the ambience and makes the interior feel brighter this same gray color is carried on towards the seat as well uh, however you still get the very same uh, mercedes benz kind of star uh, texture on the seats but still these uh, gray colored seats improve the ambience and brightness of the cabin when you compare with the lower variant so that is actually very nice the glove box is of course of the same size you get all the other details uh, and features similar to the t variant you do not get a day night switch for the irvm of course and for the orvms you get manual adjustment uh, stocks on both sides from the mid spec a variant itself so that is actually very very nice the sun visors of course are of the regular size they are decently good in quality however you do not get a vanity mirror even on the passenger side and that's it everything else feels a bit better on this top spec variant you also get this sort of silver outlining for this center console area so that kind of adds to the ambience of this cabin and of course just like the t variant you get a 12 volt charging socket usb and aux ports and you also get a central lock and a lock button in this center console area so that is nicely thoughtful uh, so everything else remains exactly the same so let me just uh, get to the back seat to check out what are the differences Yes folks I'm right now in the back seat of the new Datsun Redigo BS6 top spec T option variant and this is how the dashboard looks like from the rear seat uh, it kind of looks a bit modern way modern than before and uh, much better when you compare with every lower variant that's because you get this massive touch screen and a whole lot of features which are kind of essential in today's modern times now coming to the rear seats of course you get the very same decent amount of uh, legroom footroom and great headroom as well you get the very same width of course you can seat two people abreast very very comfortably however three people could be a bit of squeeze but still it's fine the rear windows however on this top spec variant as well get only crank function you, you do not get rear power windows unlike the Renault Quid the Renault Quid provides rear power windows along with the rear center armrest as an option but the Datsun Redigo does not and you you can also see that the rear doors do not get the fabric padding just like on the T variant uh these are just plastic you do not get a fabric padding on the doors which is kind of partial i don't know why did nissan do that but it's totally fine given the fact that this car uh, will be mostly used by two people only so that's all about the rear seats well talking about the texture again you get the very same lighter color seats on this top spec variant which kind of adds to the ambience of this cabin and the headrests are kind of uh, larger than the lower spec variants in order to provide better safety and protection i suppose so that is a good thoughtful idea so that is all you get uh, three point seat belts for the rear outer passengers you get the pretensional equipped seat belts for the front passengers you get dual airbags abs with ebd as standard however only a driver airbag is standard from the basic variant only the top spec variant provides dual airbags so that's all about the safety as well let me just now try opening the boot Yes, folks, opening the boot of the Datsun Redigo Top Spec T option variant, you get to see that there is actually no difference whatsoever. You still get the 222 liter boot capacity with good amount of carpeting. However, even on this top spec variant, you still do not get a parcel shelf, which is actually kind of weird to see on a top spec variant. And just like every other Datsun Redigo variant, you also get a 14 inch full size spare wheel under the boot floor. You also can fold flat the rear seats to improve the boot space for carrying larger items. So that was all about the boot space of the new Datsun Redigo Top Spec T option variant. Let's now talk about the pricing and conclude this review. The Datsun Redigo now seems like a much more mature car, not just in terms of the looks, but also its interior design, quality and overall features. 
Despite being based on the Renault Quid, the Datsun Redigo has its own character. It also offers segment-first features such as LED fog lamps. Now, even though being the top spec variant, this T option variant is available in three versions. You have the regular 800cc manual and you have the 1000cc manual along with the option of a 5-speed AMT gearbox on the 1 litre engine. Then finally, there's the pricing which makes the Datsun Redigo the most affordable hatchback in the country. This improved overall package and features just takes the desirability of the Datsun Redigo to the next level. So do let me know in the comment section below what do you think about this new facelifted Datsun Redigo top spec T option variant. Meanwhile, this is Viprajesh signing off. See you on another video. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe for more videos. If you like this video, click the like buttons and give your comments.